Cats really like specific plants such as catnip and silver vine. They show a characteristic response comprising licking and chewing the plants, face and head rubbing against the plants and rolling over on the plants. Catnip and silver vine are completely different species but these plants produce catattractants that have very similar chemical structures known as irioids. Nepetalactone in catnip and nepetalactol and other irioids in silver vine. The research team previously found that this feline response contributes to the chemical defense against pest mosquitoes. Catattractants also have mosquito repellent activity. Rubbing and rolling allows cats to transfer plant irioids to their fur, which repels mosquitoes. However, why cats lick and chew these plants remained a mystery. The research team studied the behavioural significance of leaf licking and chewing in cats. Silver vine leaves crumpled and torn by feline licking and chewing appeared to have a much stronger aromatic odour compared with intact leaves. The researchers first tested whether leaf damage promotes the emission of irioids from silver vine. Physical damage of silver vine by cats promoted the immediate emission of total irioids. Leaf damage also changed the composition of irioids in silver vine. Nepetalactyl accounts for over 90% of total irioids in intact leaves, but this drops to about 45% in damaged leaves as other irioids greatly increase. To examine whether these irioids changes in damaged silver vine influence the feline response, the researchers prepared synthetic irioid cocktails corresponding to the ratios found in intact versus damaged leaves and presented these simultaneously to a set of cats. The damaged silver vine cocktail promoted a much more prolonged response. It was easy to speculate that the duration of the response would increase with the amount of iridoid. However, it was surprising that the change in iridoid composition also greatly increased the feline response. A more extended duration of the response allows the cat to transfer more mosquito repellent to the fur. We can say that licking and chewing contribute to chemical pest defense in cats. Next, the research team asked whether leaf damage has effects on the amount and composition of irioids in catnip. In catnip, leaf damage increased airborne emission of nepetalactone, but did not alter the composition of irioids. Both intact and damaged leaf extracts contained almost only nepetalactone. The researchers also found that total irioid levels were 40 times higher in damaged catnip compared to damaged silver vine. However, cats showed a comparable duration of the response to 0.4 milligrams of damaged catnip cocktail and 0.01 milligrams of damaged silver vine cocktail, which corresponded to 100 milligrams of damaged catnip and silver vines, respectively. This is because the damaged silver vine cocktail had a more potent bioactivity than the same amount of damaged catnip. This was not the case when the damaged silver vine cocktail was modified by replacing the main silver vine irioid nepetalactol with catnip nepetalactone. We found that the combination of nepetalactol with other iridoids is important to induce a prolonged response. The olfactory sensitivity in cats has been optimized to both iridoid amounts and the compositions of two different plants. Finally, the researchers compared mosquito repellencies of the cocktails. Ten minutes after introduction of test stimuli, only the damaged silver vine cocktail repelled mosquitoes significantly. Mosquitoes finally avoided all stimuli 20 minutes after introduction. These indicate that the diversification of irioids in damaged silver vine leaves is more repellent to mosquitoes at low concentration. In conclusion, feline licking and chewing 
damages silver vine, which emits a low level of irioid mixtures. Damaged catnip emits a high level of nepetalactone. These changes extend the duration of the feline response to these plants, which results in enhancing the chemical pest defense in cats.